Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another DFU tutorial. Today we'll be covering screener presets in DFU and how you can duplicate and edit them to use them as a foundation of a new screen if you would like to. So first things first, to access the screener presets in DFU, what you want to do is go up here to this drop down menu, give this arrow a click, and then go over to screener presets. Going here, you can either search for presets using this text box, or you can scroll through the different folders as you can see, we've got many different options for you and a wide breadth of different screens that you can take inspiration from and use in your own routines. Once you have found a screen that you'd like to activate, let's go ahead and use the inside day screen as an example. Go ahead and give it a click and you can see it's loaded now and all these stocks here showed inside days on this uh, day. I'm sorting and screening this after the close. However, if you go over to the edit screen button, which opens up their criteria, one, you can see the criteria for inside days over here on the right hand side with a few extra uh, basically filters here as well uh, for liquidity as well as uh, price value. Uh, but you can see that all the options to add additional filters are grayed out. And this is because you're currently looking at the screener preset and you're unable to edit that screener preset. However, if you would like to use one of these screener presets as a foundation or starting point to a screen, what you want to do instead of loading it here is, let's go ahead and X this out, is when you're over at the screener preset screen, so let's go back over to the inside days here, what you want to do is click these three dots over here and press duplicate. Then you can see that uh, this menu pops up, let's go ahead and name this inside days duplicate and I have a folder specifically for preset duplicates but you can go ahead and store this wherever you would like to. Let's go ahead and press save and now we've got our own version of the inside days preset which you can actually go ahead and edit. You can see that all these options are now available and let's go ahead and add one additional criteria for it being above the 50 day moving average. So let's go over to price and volume go down to that criteria. Let's go ahead and select the 50 day moving average and say that it's over 1% or 0% above the 50 day moving average. Uh, there you go, that filter is now added to the screen. We can go ahead and press save and you can see that now all the stocks in the, li the list here are now also above the 50 day moving average. Uh, so that's pretty much it for this video. Nice and quick tutorial about how to access these screener presets as well as duplicate them and use them for your own uh, devices. So thanks very much for watching. If you have any questions, let us know and take care.